Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to answer one of the most important and frequently asked questions uh, uh, from users in SharePoint. Should we use SharePoint or OneDrive? All right, so let me explain uh, this to you now. So look, uh, the answer is actually pretty simple. If you want to collaborate with others, all right, if you are trying, let's say you're within the organization, you want to collaborate with others on um, some documents, uh, then those documents belong in SharePoint, all right? Why? Because any given SharePoint site is already accessible by multiple team members. And if I want to collaborate with those users, I just drop a document into a particular, you know, file or folder. Uh, well, a particular folder on a given library, on a given site, and this is where we uh, get to collaborate uh, on uh, the document. Um, so if you want to collaborate with others, the documents belong in, uh, in a SharePoint site. Um, however, obviously, we also have OneDrive, right? So we have SharePoint, we have OneDrive. Let me open uh, OneDrive, all right? And uh, what's the idea behind OneDrive, right? Why, why not put documents on, uh, on your OneDrive then? Well, the whole thing about OneDrive is that it's private to you, all right? OneDrive is for situations when you want to keep your documents private in the cloud, but private and not accessible by others, all right? Um, so now you can obviously still share specific files and folders from OneDrive, but it's uh, kind of um, on a case-by-case -case basis, right? If you maybe want to, um, um, you know, store documents privately, but maybe share it with one or two people, that's the kind of the use case why you would use OneDrive, all right? But very, very important, again, OneDrive by default is private to you. OneDrive is tied to your user ID. If you notice in the URL, um, the essentially each one of the users within the organization, they have their own OneDrive and it's tied to your user ID. So by default, it's um, you know, essentially private to you only. It's for situations when you do not want to collaborate with others, right? Uh, so for example, let's say there are 10 members here and obviously if I put a document in here somewhere, all 10 people will have access. If I want to maybe restrict a particular file, maybe I just want to be the one, uh, obviously, to work on the document, maybe one or two other people, I might put it on OneDrive, all right? But something really important, important about OneDrive, once again, OneDrive account is tied to your user ID. So what does it mean? It means that if you leave the organization, your OneDrive account will be deleted. All right. By default, it's actually 30 days. So in 30 days, let's say you leave the organization, IT disables, you know, deletes your user ID um, within Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So at that point, everything you had in your OneDrive will be gone in 30 days. All right. That's not the case with the SharePoint uh, team site. If let's say you put some documents here and you leave the organization, nothing will happen to the files. Well, why? Because the site doesn't belong to you. The site belongs to an organization versus OneDrive. It does belong to you. All right. So something really important again. So it's OK to use OneDrive for occasional, you know, kind of collaboration, right, with others. Uh, all right. But if the documents uh, belong to an organization, if, you know, more than one person should have access to them, eventually, eventually they really belong uh, on a SharePoint site. Because once again, your OneDrive uh, will be deleted after you're gone, and everything in you had, you know, in your OneDrive, all these files and folders you had in here will be deleted. All right. Now, um, OneDrive does allow you to have access to other SharePoint sites, so that's obviously convenient. So you can definitely, you know, go to your OneDrive and access um, the other, you know, uh, SharePoint sites from here. All right, that's not a problem. All right, you can definitely uh, keep using OneDrive in that manner, but just something really important about this My Files tab, this are your private files, and uh, if you truly want to keep them private, then they do belong here. However, once again, if you, um, you know, the, those documents that you have in here belong to an organization, there are some important documents and uh, multiple people should have access to them, they eventually belong on a SharePoint site. All right. 
uh, because if you are in charge of your OneDrive, if you don't share anything from your OneDrive, let's say you keep some document private in here, all right, some folder private in here, and you never really shared it with anyone else, well, too bad, uh, we cannot get access to it, uh, to those documents while you go on vacation. Uh, and again, that's not the case with the SharePoint site because if you go on vacation, not a problem, a given SharePoint site is typically accessible by multiple team members, so we will still have access to those documents. So some something really important to note again, SharePoint, you know, SharePoint team sites, you know, communication sites there um, for essentially uh, for multiple people to have access to, all right, for collaboration. Uh, and if you want to keep your stuff truly private, then pull those documents in OneDrive. So we have that clear line between these two applications. All right. So that's all I really wanted to um, uh, talk about on this particular video. Hopefully you no longer have a dilemma or a question um, about uh, when to use OneDrive and when to, when to use SharePoint. Um, but for now, thank you very much for watching this particular video. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.